Hello, I'm Sam Taylor. This is my audience, and I'm giving my presentation on what makes me a scholarly person. So first off, I looked up traits of a scholarly person, and they're having a short memory of failure, a passion to improve, attention to detail, being team-oriented, having a desire to give back, and being grateful for everything that you have been given in your life. Some of the traits from reading that I think that I possess are being resilient, being a team player, being able to work with anybody and any sort of team, uh, having a focus on success for myself and my career, being having an optimistic outlook on the future, being able to, and when I say that, I mean being able to have goals for myself and try and hope to reach those goals. And also, this, all, the, all of these traits have prepared me for a new business ventures and landing my first job with the Hope Media Media Studios. Am I a critical thinker? Yes, I believe I'm a critical thinker. Being in college was all a mental experience of where I am and what I think greatly about situations. Um, some of the times that I've been put in uncomfortable situations would be in schoolwork, sports. Uh, you have to think your way through things and try to get the best outcome that you can based on your results. Finding a solution to a problem can always be the easiest thing to do, and that's where critical thinking comes into play in trying to find the right solution. Motivation, trying to be a motivational person is one of the hardest things that people can do. I, I think I've been able to reach more than a few trips from coaching in my day, which usually costs five to nine school with being a way to teach kids how to do the right thing and just to motivate them to work hard and try to have a path to something that they can do. Uh, rules and some reading practices, well, if I'm going to practice my I'm starting a new disciple work thing, I would also be in the bathroom and doing bathroom work to get my teammates fired up and excited to play a game. And sometimes it's not the best thing to do when you are in success. So the developmental stage right now, I'm trying to establish myself in the world, trying to figure out who I am here with Sam Taylor. I'm trying to explore new career ventures, so maybe something that I never thought would be really exciting for me and in my job. I'm going to try it anyway just because I feel like trying new things and you really get that sometimes. Um, creating really good professional connections. That's one of the biggest things that we can do to help ourselves um, go further in our careers. And this has helped me become successful in my line of work more when I wanted to in my line of work once I've been able to see a new different side of advertising which I'm doing now and it's really opened my eyes to try to see what new what advertisers are from the book that we had to read my favorite chapter was chapter one making the most of unplanned events this chapter talked about being open to learning new skills not being afraid to try things just being a sponge, absorbing all the information that you can, growing and having continuous learning no matter where you are every single day. You should learn something new or try to learn something new and put it into practice whenever you can use that, use that skill. Um, also, learning practical learning from, learning practical learning practices. Um, so work is learning and useful to you. Be useful to the people around you. If you have valuable information, share it with the people around you and don't keep it hidden. Thank you. And I'm proud to still be here.